What's going on guys, Druzy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer episode. And today guys, we finally are going to show some gameplay of Bounty Hunter Kyle in some PvP matches as he was released this weekend. I know that I originally had stated it was going to be coming out next weekend, but it turns out that the wording, at least the way I read it, was wrong and it actually came out this weekend in this event. So we'll quickly talk about the event, play a few matches with Bounty Hunter Kyle in our deck and see if we can pick up some wins. Also, I will have the pack openings that I did open to unlock Bounty Hunter Kyle as well in this video, but the pack openings will be towards the end of the video. I will show the gameplay first, as many of you would probably prefer to see the gameplay. I know that some of you have mentioned in some of the comments in, in the last video with Ink and Craig that you wanted to see me open those packs, so I did record me opening these packs with Bounty Hunter Kyle, but I will wait and show that at the end once the gameplay is complete. So... If you guys want to see that, it will be there at the, towards further on in the video. But let's go ahead and jump right in. As you see, this is the news for today as we loaded the game. New card, Bounty Hunter Kyle. Bounty Hunter Kyle boosts the attack power of other characters within each attack. Play PvP matches. Collect laser devices and earn card packs with a chance to get a new card, Bounty Hunter Kyle. Complete the solo event to get a guaranteed copy of Bounty Hunter Kyle. So complete the solo event to get a guaranteed copy. That's really nice to know. That is a first, guys. A lot of you have really complained that you don't get those guaranteed cards at the end of the event. So people are going to start grinding the solo event. I know I am because I want to get another guaranteed Bounty Hunter Kyle. Well, here's the deck that I'm going to use. And the reason why I want a guaranteed Bounty Hunter Kyle is because I only have him at max level 2. He's 5 of 6 to get to 3. So it'll be interesting to see how effective he's going to be at level 2 in PvP. Probably will not win very many matches with him and it probably may take him out after I'm done recording this video in all reality because I don't really think this level 2 is going to be that great. So as you see his attack boost per attack hit is 3 to the uh, to our allied units and then they'll get 55 healing if he kills a unit. Now one thing to take into consideration with Bounty Hunter Kyle, yes he is a flying unit. It says that it's the first thing in his kit. He has an epic card. That is another thing that was leaked in or at least in the information that i mentioned in the bounty hunter kyle video earlier his attack is pretty low at 35 his health is fairly low at 161 so it should be very easily counterable with even just poison so we're probably going to see a ton of poison that's why i do have shaman token in my deck to try to counter that as best i can um, and then the other big thing is is that the boost will only affect his allies not bounty hunter kyle so he will not get the healing he will not get the attack boost from what it sounds like it will only go to his allied units on the field and his starting animation is pretty quick, but all, all in all, from what I've seen through gameplay footage I've seen from other content creators, Bounty Hunter Kyle does not look that quite o that OP, guys. Something that we all feared, including myself in all reality, earlier on in this event, thinking that, oh man, Bounty Hunter Kyle's going to be so overpowered, everybody's going to start utilizing him. And I think that it could happen, but, I mean, we'll see. Another big announcement that they made was that Tally will become available in PvP packs and PvP lockers, I believe with this event if I'm not mistaken. So that'd be huge because I would like to get Tally to level 4. Alright guys, our first match here against Ramon is the Elite. Ramon is the Elite. Level 15 new kid to start. Um, don't really know where to go first. We'll start with Calamity Heidi, I guess, in the back. And with Dog Poo, this could be interesting. Could probably use Cyborg Kenny to counter that. It could be useful. We'll go ahead and do that. Or it could counter Nathan at least. He's going to fireball that. This is where we punish him, I think, as best we can here. With this. Smuggler Ike leveled up. So Jimmy, we should easily get this first bar here with all that. Let's get Buccaneer Bebe here to get leveled up. So she's going to get all that. And then we'll just push in. This, oh, you're just, you're giving me a free, free Cartman kill right here. Should get him killed right before Angel Wendy gets that. But we're going to lose Bebe. That's all good. 
uh, we're going to save that. We're going to get some Bounty Hunter Kyle here for the first time. And look at how quick he loads in. He loads in very fast. Unfortunately, he hasn't gotten any attacks off, so he's getting, giving no boost to our units. But this guy is just... He fireballs. Questionable fireball there by Ramon. Um, but able to get bar number two. And still no damage. And he has given up now. So... There's that. We'll give him a good game for Ramon there for the three bar win. Oh wow. It's just should have just ended it with a lightning bolt there, but it's okay. First win. Only got to see one of Bounty Hunter Kyle, so we'll do much better here in the next match to try to get more Bounty Hunter Kyle. So I do apologize for that. So another match here against Jeffy Monkey. From Randy's room is the clan. Level 17 new kid for Jeffy. Congratulations, sir. Um, not sure in that first match how effective this deck really actually is. Jeffy is not playing. And now he's playing some cards. We'll just see here. He is. I'll just pretty much let Calamity Heidi just get sacrificed here. Go ahead and do this. Get rid of that range unit. We'll just go ahead and do that. Oh, that stinks. Go ahead and do this. And then that should take the first bar here against Jeff Monkey. Just go ahead and... Ike should die here. Why did you charge him? You just gave me a free Ike kill. That's exactly what you just did. Um, let's go ahead and do this. So we can start powering Kyle, or using Kyle to power up here. And he did get the heal off, actually, surprisingly there. And then you lay down the... Probably not smart for you to lay down the uh, swarm units there, but Kyle, boosting up the attack a little bit there, able to get bar number two. So now we've got a nice little two bar lead here, uh, going into, right here before we get into the extra energy portion, so, uh, don't know if that was the best Kyle play, try to use Kyle there in a situation, um, where he'd hopefully be able to do uh, the most damage. Although the end result looked fairly effective. And it looks like this guy's just given up. We'll get some more Kyle out here. See if we can't get a few hits with him. Get that boost up in damage. Get that new kid down and get the kill. Um, but all in all, if you look at just how weak he is as far as Kyle himself as a card, he's not really that strong. So I think a lot of the fear of him being a super overpowered card... I think should be able to be put to rest here in all reality. I don't think that that fear is legitimate now Now that I myself seen him in action. Um, he's definitely a strong card and has some potential, but I mean, the fact that he doesn't give any kind of boost to himself, he only gives it to his allies, I think really makes him to where he's not over overpowered. All right, guys, another match here against Nerdy Dragon 12-788. Repping the dinosaur outfit as well. Um, there is a Stan, Poseidon Stan, on the field. I wonder if actually Poseidon Stan slow would actually make Bounty Hunter Kyle more effective. Because a slow... Okay, he does fireball there, but it doesn't... doesn't stop... Um, what's going on here? So I'm going to pick here on Dog Poo. He's going to Terrence. I need to get rid of Terrence immediately. And hope that I can at least get a couple hits here with uh, these just here. Kyle. Kyle's still poking away at the enemy new kid here. 
but will not take the enemy new kid out, so that is unfortunate. Now we've got to deal with... And unfortunately, Baby does not get that power up there, which would have been really nice. This is probably too much to commit for 42 health, but it's too late. We already committed that much. So that was probably a dumb play on my part. Probably will regret that. So Nerdy Dragon has a chance to take advantage now of my stupidity. He's going to do it with Officer Barbary. He's going to do it with a level 5 Officer Barbary. And a level 5 Big Gay Al. And a level 5 Ike to boot. Let's get Cyborg Kenny out here. He's going to get... He might get two bars out of that. But I'm going to hit with Astro Butters. It's fairly hard here. So I've got a chance here to Lightning Bolt for the win. If I can just hold off defensively here. Let's get Kyle up here up top. Get him to start boosting away here. We need to counter this immediately. Fortunately, I lost my lightning bolt, so now I need this damage to hit. Um, he's going to go ahead and go there with Poseidon Stan. He's got Dog Poo out here. Here I just really, realistically I just need to cycle to my Lightning Bolt, but no, Ike's going to get that hit to get the three bar victory with Kyle. So, decent amount of Kyle there at the end, there with him kind of keeping Kyle contained so that Kyle could get some more attacks off to get that win. So that was nice, able to get a PvP pack out of that as well. Hopefully we can get uh, the 30... Ugh. Here we got the 30 laser devices. Had to spend some cash to do it, unfortunately, but we'll get that done. We'll open this pack up and see where we stand here. Within the event, might open a couple of event packs real quick. Um, well, I'll probably save that at least. So 120 right now with the laser devices. So far in the event, some Enforcer Jimmies. Need those. Need Badita Sally's. Got Terrence Mephesto, so that's good. It'll be donatable here. Alright guys, so here we go. We're going to open up some packs and hope that we can get Bounty Hunter Kyle. As we're going to open up these 2,000 uh, cash packs, which we have enough cash to try to get 7 of the 10 that are available. So the card pack gives 10 rares, 3 epics, 1% chance of legendary, 20 silver, 10 gold. And from what it looks like, it says 25% chance at an extra epic. I assume and hope that that would be the 25% chance is actually to get uh, Bounty Hunter Kyle. So hoping that the 25% chance, again, is to get Bounty Hunter Kyle and not necessarily for whatever else. You also get 20 bronze, which was not mentioned in that breakdown. But let's go ahead and open up pack number one. Try to get through the pack openings very quickly so it doesn't take up too much of the total video time here. Hoping that we get him to at least level 2 realistically. 3 would be phenomenal, but probably not realistic. So, get the chips, get the hands, get the robots. 7 Marine Craigs, 1 Enforcer Jimmy, 3 Bay Bay, 8 Poison, 1 Stan, 1 Gizmo Ike. There's Bounty Hunter Kyle, so the first pack, guys, boom, right away. We get a Bounty Hunter Kyle, we get 2 Mind Control, 3 Alien Clydes, 1 Ice Sniper Wendy, 1 Space Warrior Token, 4 Alien Queen Reds, 1 Astronaut Butters. He is... Gonna be my first level six common, as you see, 709 of a thousand. Working my way up. Warboy tweak with one and five freeze ray. And I might try to implement more freeze ray because I really enjoyed making that video with that freeze ray deck. So, you know, but again, if there's other decks you guys want to see me build or put together, you know, let me know in the comment section. So we'll just quickly go through the first three. So I already know what that is. So there, Cyborg Kenny can be level four now. 
We want Marine Craig, some more of him. Three. Three Enforcer Jimmies, that's awesome. Four Babies, that's good. Seven Poison, that's that's pretty good. We got one Program Stand again. Three Alien Queen Reds. One Mind Control. Six Alien Clydes. One Ice Sniper Wendy. Three Space Warrior Tokens. One Astronaut Butters. One Awesome O. And five Freeze Rays. So no Bounty Hunter Kyle in pack number two. So we've only got one. So at least we have one to the point to where we can, um, you know, use him in, in, in decks to at least showcase him. But I don't want to play him in just free play battles. I want to see him in actual PvP. So one Cyborg Kenny, eight Marine Craigs, one Enforcer Jimmy, three Bebes, four Poisons, two Program Stands. So that's already three Epics right there. One Power Fist Dougie, two Alien Queen Reds, one Mind Control, five Alien Clydes, one Ice Sniper Wendy, three Astronaut Butters, four Warboy Tweaks, four Freeze Rays. So we got the Bounty Hunter Kyle right off the bat. No go since then. But we got four more packs to go, guys. Let's see if we can get him. So opening up the first three, because they're not as important, the Marine Craigs. Four Bay Bays, three Poisons, one Program Stand. They really like giving me Program Stand, three Hyperdrives, one Gizmo Ike, two Bounty Hunter Kyles. So that kind of makes up four before here as we can get Bounty Hunter Kyle to at least level two. So that's really nice. We've got a Mind Control, seven Alien Clydes, four Ice Sniper Wendy's, two Space Warrior Tokens, Alien Queen Red, three Astro Butters, and three Freeze Race. So at least we got him to level two. So that is extremely nice. I'm very excited about that aspect. But we want more. We're greedy bat we're greedy, man. We want more Bounty Hunter Kyles. So 2020-10. One sideboard Kenny right away. Two Enforcer Jimmies. Enforcer Jimmy working his way at 110 of 200. And he is max level 4 as well, guys. So I'm hoping to get him to 5-2 here soon. She's max level 4. Robo Bay Bay is. One Poison. One Warboy Tweak. One Hyperdrive. One Power Fist Dougie. Three Alien Queen Reds. Four Marine Craigs, three Alien Clydes, got a Gizmo Ike, my Sniper Wendy, got an Osmo, so there's the three, but there is one more Bounty Hunter Kyle, so he's four of three now. Six Astronaut Butters, that is amazingly awesome. One Space Warrior Token, and seven Freeze Race. Wish I could get some gold out of this. The only downside of these packs primarily is the lack of gold. Because that would be very nice to have as well. We'll go to the 2020-10 away. One Cyborg Kenny again. Four Marine Craigs. Two Enforcer Jimmies. Five Robo Bebes like that. Three Poisons. One Warboy Tweak. One Hyperdrive. Two Power Fist Duggies. One Alien Queen Red. One Mind Control. Four Alien Clydes. Two Space Warrior Tokens. Five Astronaut Butters is cool. Two Awesomos. I, I thought there for a minute that I got the two... Two Bounty Hunter Kyles. It was such a tease. Such a tease game. We got enough for one more pack here, guys. So we at least got him to level 2. So there's that. So he might be playable here on the ladder at max level 2. Obviously, we ideally would want him at max level 3. So if I could at least get two more, that'd be great. Two Enforcer Jimmies, four Robo Bebes, one Program Stand, three Kyles. So seven Kyles total. From this stuff, 210 with Alien Clyde is great. Three S Sniper Wendy's, one Space Warrior Token, two Alien Queen Reds, three Astro Butters, and three Freeze Race. All right, guys, so we're at four of six with him, but I, I'm going to go ahead, try to see if we can get two more Bounty Hunter Kyles here real quick. Open up a couple more packs to try to get him to level three, because I need to get him to level three to realistically play him on the ladder. So we are opening up a few more packs than originally thought of. So it's two Cyborg Kenny, seven Marine Craigs, three Rainbow Bebes, one Poison, one World Boy Tweak, two Hyperdrives, one Gizmo Ike, two Alien Queen Reds, Mind Control, six Alien Clydes, two Power Fist Duggies, two Ice Sniper Wendy's, one Space Warrior Token, six Astro Butters, and three Freeze Race. Really need two more Bounty Hunter Kyles here, guys, to in order to get him to level three and make him at least viable within the PvP scope of it. It does not mean that it's going to be overpowered, but he'll at least be playable. 
one Cyborg Kenny, four Marine Craigs, one Force of Jimmy, two Robo Babies, four Poison, one Program Stan, one Gizmo Ike, some Alien Queen Red, some Mind Control, some Alien Clyde, some Sniper Wendy, some Space Warrior Token. We got one. So we're five of six. Four, four Astro Butters, three Warboy Tweaks, and four Freeze Rays. Well, this is our last one. This is our last one of the 2000. We'll see. We're able to get four Enforcer Jimmies is nice. Five Robo Bebes, some Poison, Program Stan, some Powerfist Dougie, some Marine Craig, some Alien Clyde, Gizmo Ike, Cypher Wendy, Space for a Token, Astro Butters, Osimo, Freeze Ray. So there you go guys, a lot going on in this video, some gameplay with Bounty Hunter Kyle as well as some pack openings. Let me know down below what you think of Bounty Hunter Kyle, if you thought and really think that he actually is as OP as originally feared and thought. I myself thought that he would be very very strong, but it looks like with his overall health and his actual base attack damage, he isn't really that overwhelming in my opinion. But we'll see as we get him leveled up further and further, hopefully we're able to get him to level 3. If I'm able to unlock him at level 3, might show some gameplay with him more at max level 3 and a more standardized level for legendary arena but if you guys good luck to you guys trying to get bounty hunter kyle as well if you're not on any of my social media or want to follow me on any social media all of the information will be down in the description down below and all of the stuff that i am a part of here on the side to me thank you guys so much for the continued support and until next time guys my name is Drewsy.